welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and as you can see, we are short another Josh. He is actually still arriving, but we have gained a wonderful special person here. And for all you guys out there, this here is Flying Monkey. He's our fill-in today. And also his name is Fred Provost if you want to get technical. But between us, we have a very special gentleman. Now, any of you out there that have looked on YouTube and Googled, or, or I should say YouTube uh, B29, I guarantee you have seen this beauty behind you. Well, I want to introduce you to not only the beauty behind you, but the pilot in front of me is uh, Mac Hodges, right? Right. And he is the owner of Hodges Hobbies right here on the beautiful airport. And what do you call this airport? Hodges Field. Hodges Field. There you go. Now, I want to take a moment of your time. I know you're really busy, but I'd love for you to be able to do a walk around with this and okay. show us some special things about it because this is an amazing, amazing airplane and you fly it like a 3D airplane. The guy that used to be my flying buddy, the guy that built the X-1 and used to fly the X-1 and he built the second, this is the third B-29, he built the second one. He said that it's just an airplane. It's so. just an airplane. Just an airplane. I love that. You guys, we need to put that on all of our airplanes <laughs> and, and just remember that because you probably have a lot more fun with it, don't you? You do, you do. For you guys out there, just to know, he, he carries out this beauty here, and that's the X-1 Bell. You recreate what Chuck Yeager did with breaking exactly, the sound breaker, correct? Exactly. Wonderful. And, and we drop it out, and it glides down, and uh, we've got a, a AirTech uh, G64 rocket motor that we ignite. And that takes it back up to altitude and very then quickly the guy coasted in for a landing. It so. glides really nicely. It does. It's it really amazing. Does. It's amazing. Now, now, what's this plane constructed out of? I know it's a scratch uh, boat. You it's can't foam. It. It's, it's all foam. Uh, the shape is all foam, sheeted with balsa, fiberglass, and painted with uh, interior latex. Wow. And then what's the all-up weight? Uh, about 100 pounds. About 100 pounds? Yep, yep. So you have the special AMA thing it's, on we it, do, don't you? We do. Well, and nice. I'd have to say the uh, best way to view it is in person. And he doesn't just fly it here. You take it around the country, don't you? Oh, yeah. About the only time I fly it here is when we have an event. Yep. And uh, now, you don't just, a lot of events. You don't just strap this to the top of a car. you got a way to carry this no, around the country. we've got a 22-foot trailer that's kind of fixed up especially to haul it. And you can get a lot of incur a lot of damage hauling a plane, so we've we've pretty well got that figured out. So. That's amazing. Looks like you have a three-piece wing too. We do, and and each uh, each wing has its own receiver, battery pack. It's self-contained. So uh, when you pull it apart, you, there's no wires to unplug or really? anything. There's two servos. I mean, two receivers in the fuselage that split the duties. The uh, right stab, left stab. Uh, each has has uh, is on different receivers. Okay. And then the uh, the two, the two wing outer wing panels have their own receiver. Now you don't have flaps on this, do you? No, we had flaps on the original plane, and it slows up so much with the four blade props that we never used them. And with the with the way the wing comes off there, you would have had to have built. Uh, you would have had to have separated the flaps and had two servos and the Just linkage and more weight, it, more, more, weight you, more hassle and, and we didn't, so we didn't anyway. need them right and yeah. a lot of times I, if I, I'm, I'm having to add power when I come in yeah. anyway so we, did, we just didn't need them. So. Yeah, you dropped it like a feather today. It was yeah, amazing yeah. to what, see. If you could show your viewers one thing about this plane, what is what is the thing that you'd like to show them? What's something unique about it? Besides it's just the awesomeness and the, and the size, um, what's something that you're really proud of? In, well, Maybe the, the, the release on your X1 Bell or? Nah, that's that's pretty much uh, easy to do. Uh, we're just, <laughs> the yeah, rest of us are amazed by it. We're all amazed by it. Just gotta, it's, the retracks are special. Uh, a friend of mine made those and uh, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're home built. Okay. He made the brakes and everything. He made the wheels. He made everything except the rubber tires. So, that is uh, amazing. They are very neat and uh, they use a jack screw and uh, they're electric. And they run off of 18 uh, knockhead cells, so about 24 volts. On, wow! On the ray track. You got a couple drills in there. And uh, this is, uh, uh, it gets kind of busy in here. Oh, wow, we had, uh, I didn't have enough mixes on the radio. I was using all eight on the on the uh, JR12X, all eight mixes. So okay. uh, I needed more mixes, so, so I had to put those two motors on one channel, these two. But then I needed a way to adjust the idle. Uh, I could adjust one. I could adjust the idle with the radio, but it would affect both of them. I needed a way to separate them so I could match both of them up. Okay. So I'm using match boxes in here for the uh, for the to match the throttles up, and that's wow. kind of a unique thing. And that is. These great. are some little jumper plugs. I've got uh, I'm running eight one two threes, uh, two cells uh, per receiver, and so I've got eight of those. I've got four receivers that and charging them. Uh, when they're both tied together through a bat chair, uh, you they both go to the receiver. The ground goes all the way to the receiver. It doesn't. The switch just switches the uh, positive lead nice. off. So you've got a common ground on those two, and uh, most chargers don't like a common ground. When you start charging, 
one sale, it'll see the common ground and it'll think uh, that the sales don't add up, uh, the sale count doesn't add up. Okay. So, so I've got a jumper here going to the negative wire coming out of the switch to, to, the to, to interrupt, uh, pull one of this, pull this out, and that interrupts the uh, common ground so that this switch and this switch, in other words, the negative wire from this switch goes yes. to here and that uh, interrupts it. So you only got, uh, you've only got uh, uh, one ground wire going so you don't get two ground wires. So when you're charging the battery, it doesn't wow. see two ground wires. That, so. that makes one complicated foamy. So it, it, it kind of yes. does, it kind of does. Probably the most intricate foamy I've ever seen Magnetic in my life. hatch works great. So. Wow. Well, I gotta say, your field is the most amazing, well, beautiful field. You. The fact that you have a hobby shop on it. Thank you so much for spending time sharing okay. all this with us. And for you guys out there, amazing pilot and amazing airplane. And uh, I hope all to right. see a lot more of you. Okay. Friend. All Thank right. You. All the best. You got a, I think, coach, uh, a yeah, snack I've got down, go, don't you? I've got a yeah, yeah, Bill's already been out here looking for you. All right. Okay. So, there we go. Thanks see y'all. All right. Take, take care. care. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's a, one do you think Josh Scott could fly this? I would uh, think that we could probably strap him to it. We could. We uh, could. They uh, they have some parachute droppers. We could substitute him for them. Put a parachute on him and and just have a release. You know, we don't even have to tell Josh about it. We can say, hey, Josh, just sit just here. Just crawl under here. Yeah, and I'm sure Matt could do it. Uh, have you seen this thing? It ha yeah. it hovers. And Josh weighs maybe what 50 pounds. It, if uh, if we put him in a spandex suit, it's probably even less. Yeah, and he's streamlined. Yes. Well, there you go. Well, let's start working on that. Uh, for you guys, thank you for watching, and uh, let's go and review some more people. Let's do it. All right.